Academic Writing. Lecture 5. Dep the Department of Foreign Language to Foreign Languages. Senior Lecturer Nurmanova Shnar Kantarbayevna. The theme of the lecture is Cause Signal Weights, Effect Signal Weights. The learning objectives of the lecture are to identify cause signal weights, to identify effect signal weights, the third, to identify main functions of signal weights, the fourth, recognize cause and effect relationships, the fifth, to employ cause and effect signal weights. These are the weights which may be used during the lecture. Keywords such as reason, consequently, therefore, effect, result, owing to, consequence, since, cause, thanks, due to, etc. So, effect is defined as what happened, cause is defined as why something happened. Clue words and signal causal relationships include such as because, so, consequently, therefore, thus, and since. Effect signal words are defined as what happened. So they refer to what results and it is the what what happened next. Here are some signal words that may indicate that information in the paragraph is organized as cause and effect, such as because, as a result, resulted, caused, affected, since, due to, effect. When information in a passage is organized by the time in which each event occurred, it is organized chronologically. Developing an understanding of how cause and effect informs the organization of a text enhances a student's ability to fully comprehend what they have read. But what exactly do we mean when we speak of cause and effect in relation to reading? Cause is the driving force in the text. It is the reason that things happen. In essence, cause is the thing that makes other things happen. Effect refers to what results. It is the what happened next in the text that results come from a preceding cause. To put it concisely, cause is the why something happened and effect is the what happened. Cause and effect are important elements of a text that help the reader to follow a writer's line of thought regardless of whether that text is fiction or non-fiction. The concept of cause and effect are so prevalent in our everyday lives that students are usually quick to pick up to them. They may already display a good implicit understanding of the concept in their own reading and writing. However, the purpose of this lecture is to make that understanding explicit to offer a range of strategies that will help them clearly identify the causes and effects that are woven throughout the fabric of the text they will read. The main function of signal words To alert the reader that the article is about to end signal words and phrases. To help guide the reader through the terrain of the writer's thoughts. It helps the reader to follow a coherent thread through the material. It also helps to connect the ideas in a text or the events in a story. And writer is engaged in the writing process to organize and structure the information. Signal words on transitions are signposts that help to guide the readers through the terrain of the writer's thoughts. They help con to connect the ideas in a te text or the events in a story. Often, they do this by answering implicit questions. 
In this case, of course, and effect, these are the what or of what the effect and the why of the cause. Different signal weights can be used to indicate each. For example, cause and effect in a piece of writing helps the reader to follow a coherent thread through the material. It also helps the writer engage in the processes to organize and structure the information into a logical form. A word on effect and effect. When teaching cause and effect, be sure to make the chance to reinforce the difference between the noun effect and the verb effect. No matter how many times students are exposed to this distinction, a few will always manage to avoid learning. Don't allow to be affected by ignorance of the difference any longer. This is a classic cause and effect reading task to visually to represent. So, in fiction, cause and effect helps to maintain plausivity in sprout lines. While things may appear to happen out of a clear blue sky in real life, in fiction, there is almost always a reason, the cause for the things that happen, that is the effect. Whether fiction or non-fiction, cause and effect are arranged in such a manner as to show the connections between a result and the events that preceded it. It can be thought of as problem-solution order. It is not merely the sample of the English classroom either, but has applications in areas as diverse in science, social studies, history, movies and computer games. So, forms of graphic organizer are cause and effect column organizer, the cause and effect chain, a simple graphic organizer consisting of series of sequential boxes joined by arrows, and display complex relationships between events where an event has more than one cause or effect. Concerning effect graphic organizers, they can be helpful too to help students to record cause and effect from a reading passage. Displaying this information visually aids students in identifying and analyzing the underlying causes and effects in a series of events or processes. Two forms of graphic of organizer can be particularly useful in this role, the cause and effect column organizer and the cause and effect chain. The cause and effect column organizer consists of two columns labeled cause and effect respectively. Students can record the cause in the left-hand column and the corresponding effect opposite in the right-hand column. This allows students to quickly see the cause and related effects and can serve as a useful to a study tool to review material. As for the cause and effect chain, it is a simple graphic organizer consisting of a series of sequential boxes joined by arrows. Students record events in the boxes to display the relationships between them. As one event occurs, we can trace the subsequent event it causes easily. In this way, students can also visually comprehend how effects themselves become causes. Graphic organizers for complex events may also be useful to display complex relationships between events where an event has more than one cause or effect. Students simply add more arrows and boxes to display their relationships between different events. As students become more experienced and sophisticated in their approach, they will be able to tailor individual graphic organizers to meet the needs of the specific reading material they are engaged with. So, cause and effect helps to maintain plausibility and plotines, shows the connections between a result and the events that preceded it. It helps to enhance our understanding of a text and allows for information to be organized strategically in a coherent manner. So, such examples demonstrate you the ways cause and effect signals are used. For example, 
So the cause always comes after the cause effect signal or weight of freeze. Signal weight freeze plus cause and effect. Effect plus signal weight freeze plus cause. For example, due to John's laziness, he did not pass the English test. Here signal weight is due to. The cause is John's laziness. The effect, he didn't pass the test. The second example. He failed the test because of his bad study habits. The signal phrase here is because of. The cause is his bad study habits. The effect, he failed the test. And the third example. As a result of the rain, we cancelled the picnic. Signal phrase. As a result of the cause, the rain. And the effect, we cancelled the picnic. So, there is no doubt that students must develop their skills in applying this essential reading. Comprehension strategy to a wide variety of reading material if they are to become effective readers. To do this, they must have a clear understanding of how the concept of cause and effect are defined in a range of contexts. This can only be achieved through practice. So, you students should gain experience in identifying the events in a story and then learning to categorize them as either cause or effect. This will not always be a straightforward classification and may require you to draw on other reading strategies to perform this successfully, particularly the skill of inference. You should be encouraged to further understand how cause and effect not only enhance your understanding of a text, but allows for information to be organized strategically in a coherent manner that will help with later recall. This understanding can be leveraged as a useful study skill that will reap considerable benefits for the student in all other areas of their studies and beyond. Now, that's an effect attractive a side effect for sure. Effect is defined as what happened. Cause is defined as why something happened. And clue words that signal causal if, uh, relationships include such words as you know, such as because, consequently, therefore, thus, since. To find an effect, readers ask what happened. To find cause, readers ask why did this happen. Information articles are ideal selections for teaching cause-effect relationships. So, the guiding questions for finding them. What events does the author describe in the selection? What causes are given for the events described in this selection? Which words and phrases did the author use to signal cause-effect relationships? When we talk about a situation that makes other situations happen, we talk about cause and effect. In English, we use certain expressions such as because, due to, since, and as to talk about causes and effects. So a person or thing that makes something happen is a cause. An effect is a change that is a result of an action or cause. Affect is when effect is used as a verb, it is usually spelled with a affect, that is, to produce an effect to cause a change in something. For example, the snowstorm affected his mood. Talking about causes and effects in English, so we use certain words, as we have said, due to, because of, owing to, thanks to, as a consequence of, as a result, because, since, etc. To express cause and effect, words or phrases will either be followed by a noun or a verb. They are followed by a noun, such words as of cause and effect phrases such as due to, because of, owing to, as a consequence, as a result, thanks to, etc. The cause always comes after the cause effect signal words or phrases. So, and they are followed by a verb if they are followed by a subject verb of word, verb phrase, because, since, as, for. Cause and effect words signal the words is going the author is going to describe results or effects. So, as concerning the summary of the lecture, so the main five points 
mind them. Cause is defined as why something happened. Effect is defined as what happened. Functions of signal weights are, and you know them, and forms of graphic organizer. Remember them. And the cause always comes after the cause effect signal weight of race. So, concerning the revision, be ready to answer such questions concerning the cause and effect signal weights. What are cause signal weights? What are effect signal weights? What are the main functions of signal weights? What is cause and effect relationship? What are the ways of using cause and effect signal weights? And while getting to the lecture, use the, le the following sources. The books of Alice Oshima and Anho, Writing Academic English and the following sites.